So I'm heading over to the Quick Set booth at CES 2020. They have a big, big product release, which I also already kind of know about, because I saw it under embargo. But I'm gonna show it to you over here. So, now because I've registered here, yeah. I'll be able to unlock it. Really, you guys had all the questions And now? And you use the, which, you have your own software to program it? There's, um, the app will walk you through the uh, mm -hmm. onboarding process or getting your um, enrolled, your fingerprint enrolled. Uh -huh, uh -huh. In addition to that, there is a button here that you press the program button. Oh, okay. You and then you can register it. You can do it as easily as just, as long as you're on the inside of the house, you can press the button. Correct. So, so you don't actually need to access an app to register your fingerprint. The app will just help walk through the steps ah, okay. and the expectation so there is some instructions in the app okay so it can hold up to 100 fingerprints uh-huh um, 50 users okay. so two fingerprints are reserved per user oh interesting okay and so you can lock it even if your fingerprint is not registered you can go ahead and lock it anyone can lock it anyone by touching it okay it. that yeah. makes a lot of sense yeah. but you can't unlock it like I can't unlock it so that's so, telling me I'm not yeah. registered if I use my non-registered fingerprint, uh -huh. fail. Uh -huh. But if I use my registered fingerprint... And have I assume you fully tested this in terms of resistance to weather or you know cold. I mean, does so, it, the fingerprint reader works under all reasonable conditions. We, we've done early testing, validation. We're continuing yeah. our validation. Okay. Yeah. To make is, sure that that works properly. Is, is this a retail product at this point? It will be a... No, this, you're, this because you're be still testing it. This will be available um, summer this year. Summer 2020. Yeah. Do you have a price point that you're yeah, targeting? It's going to be at 249. 249. Okay, so a little bit more than your other uh, yeah. smart locks. It's got Wi-Fi. Yeah. Connected. Now you have the Halo Wi-Fi as well. Correct. The Halo touchscreen and the uh -huh. uh -huh. That's also Wi-Fi enabled. Okay, so adding the fingerprint reader adds a little bit to the cost because the Halo. Yeah. If you look at the encode, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we designed it from the get-go to pair for con this is the contemporary look, and you have traditional. So we address the aesthetics. Great, and you can get that in a variety of colors as well. Correct. So second yeah. nickel and Venetian bronze. Yeah. And iron black and satin nickel for contemporary. Got it. You don't use iron black on on the traditional. No, no. no. Typically Got the that, that, no, that makes a lot of sense. Sure, sure, sure. Very, very good. So are you the first to market with a fingerprint reading no, lock? We're not. But what's your value added from Quickset? But I think, I think Probably the, value, <laughs> the value add is that we're the first year, right? Yeah. Um, in addition to that, so the security, none of the fingerprints are, are uh, stored in the cloud. Okay, it's all it's you have onboard memory. Encrypted, kept in the lock locally. Yeah. And the memory is divided that way. That portion can be accessed. Great. Yeah. So still going to be controlled with the Quickset app. Uh huh. So you can still do set up, delete your fingerprints, delete okay. the user, make a user inactive. Yeah. And make it active. Or you can also grant 24-hour access or scheduled access or admin access. But they to, to get their fingerprint registered, they have to physically be present at the lot. You can't do it over your phone. Or at this time, you can't do it over your phone. Yeah. You do have you need someone with access to the interior. Yeah. That way they can press Got the it. Program button. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome.